tissue section, we're looking at a vagina, which is essentially a fibromuscular tube of the female reproductive tract. And it consists of three major layers. The first, if we look at the superficial aspect of this section, we can see a non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, and it's supported by a lamina propria, which is just connective tissue and some blood vessels. And then secondly, we have a smooth muscle layer known as the muscularis, and it consists of an inner circular and outer longitudinal muscle layer. And finally, we have the adventitia, which consists of adipose tissue, connective tissue, and here's some nerve fiber bundles that are found in the adventitia, as well as some blood vessels. So in particular, um, if we look in the, at the uh, epithelial lining of the vagina, we'll see some specific features. So the first thing that we can note that there's no keratin. So this is a non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. And here this arrow is depicting an epithelial cell where we can see sort of all this evacuated space, this white space. And this space actually is filled with glycogen granules. And we can't see the granules because they are removed through H&E staining and processing. But these cells store and eventually will release glycogen granules at the surface of this epithelial lining. And the glycogen granules are going to be converted into lactic acid by lactobacillus bacteria that is found within the vaginal canal. And the lactic acid is going to reduce the pH and provide an unfavorable environment for pathogens or other bacteria to flourish. So it's a, pr a protective mechanism. And if we note in the lamina propria, just deep to this epithelial lining, we can see an absence of glands. So we know that the uh, vagina is actually lubricated by the mucus secretions from the cervix and the glands that are found there. In addition, uh, vaginal lubrication can also be found from blood plasma or exudate coming from the blood vessels inside the lamina propria, and it's going to mix with the cervical uh, secretions as it uh, sort of passes through this epithelial lining. So in general, those are the sort of the major features of the vagina. We saw a mucosa layer consisting of a stratified squamous epithelium, and then we saw two layers of smooth muscle. We have an inner circular, outer longitudinal, and finally the adventitia, which consists of adipose tissue, some nerve fascicles, and blood vessels.